A handful of you had mentioned it's not so obvious how to get a good hair key using Composite Brush. So the big new feature in Composite Brush version 1.3 is a new matte type specifically built for keying hair, glass, and other semi-transparent objects. We've also included a side panel with presets to make this even easier. And right here you'll see the new matte type. In addition to hard, medium, and soft, you'll see hair version 1.3. To use this, first click one single time on a good sampling of your background color, and then alt click on a handful of samplings from your foreground. Next, you'll notice there's still a lot of green left over in the background. One of the ways we made this matte type extremely precise is that we actually knowingly leave more of that background color and color similar to that background color than you're going to need to get a good key. And then it's up to you to reduce the matte high level as low as you can without eliminating hair detail. That looks pretty good. To show you how absurdly precise our new hair selection algorithm is, let's zoom way in. Now, turning off composite brush, you may see details like this hair right here and wonder if it's been preserved with this key. Well, it's very faint and tough to see. Let me move that around, you can see it's there. But really the best way to show this hair detail is still preserved is if I go to Curves, Alpha, and bring up some of these low levels. And you'll see that all that detail is still there. So I probably wouldn't use this Curves effect. This is just to show you that nothing is being lost. And to finish off this shot, I would use the Advanced Spill Suppressor and throw in a background image. But you're not impressed, you say, because you've seen a lot of green screen keys in your day. So how about something that's a lot harder to do in After Effects? Here's a shot with a white background. So let's take a look at how Key Light handles this, since it's probably the best key you're built into After Effects. And it doesn't really seem to do anything. So that's not the worst key I've ever seen, but I think we can do a little better. So again, I use my hair preset. I click once on the background, then alt click on the hair. The first step is to key just the hair and get it to be the right color. I'm going to do a separate in-depth tutorial for this, but I'll do a fast overview for this video. First thing to notice is all this hair detail is preserved. Again, just to emphasize this, I'll use curves. So if we A, B that, and you check out these areas with the hair detail, it's all there. There are some easy tricks in After Effects to get the hair color to be the correct color. Remove color matting will take semi-transparent pixels and divide them by the background color based on their opacity from the key, the end result being that they're restored to their original color. Let's throw a background in here before we go too much further. Now I'm using the composite brush set holdout preset to restore the color and alpha values of the face. This goes right on the same layer as the hair. So that looks pretty good, although you'll notice there's a hole in the face because uh, right here on her cheek, it's basically the same color as the background that's being removed. Another holdout for that and choke it slightly to avoid adding extra hair. The great thing about composite brush is you can add holdouts based on the original pixels of the layer. This prevents you from needing multiple layers in your composition. So it only took about a minute to get these results, but I'm going to break this out into another tutorial because there might be some fine pointers you could benefit from. Keying glass and liquid follows the same steps. I'll use the hair key preset. I'm going to click one time on the background and then I'll click the darkest or most saturated part of the foreground. Adjust my matte high level. And I'm going to put the background on now so you can see why it's so important to use remove color matting because right now you can't really see anything. Effect, channel, remove color matting, and then just choose the background color. And I'll use curves to bring out some of those lower alpha values. So 
So in order to make this look really realistic, you'd have to add refraction for the glass and for the wine. But composite brush is a keyer, and the point is you can get a really good key. We also have a tutorial for screen replacements. You can see how the shot was done using composite brush on our homepage. Composite Brush version 1.3 is a free update. For more info, check out aescripts.com slash composite brush.